Hi everybody, this is Hero from the Birds, back with another Shadowlands video. And in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the PTR changes to Holy Paladin Legendary Inflorescence, and how that might be an opportunity for us to look again at the Holy Light style of play. And here in the background, I have a Sire Denathrius pull as a Night Fae Paladin, just checking out a play style for Holy Light, and I'll talk a little bit about the priorities as I go through this video. But the inflorescence change is pretty simple. They move the bon bonus uh, granted by inflorescence from 20% to 30%. And what this means is, on the one hand, Flash of Light is going to cost 880 mana whenever you get an infusion proc, which is, I think, 20 less mana than a Crusader Strike. Uh, so that's a notable change, meaning if you get Infusion, you can press <laughs> Flash of Light and it'll be one of your cheapest spells to use, actually. It becomes almost mana efficient. There may be down the line a build where we um, you know, have a fairly reasonable crit and may we have focused light. We just get a Infusion proc every time we cast our Holy Shock and we convert those into two quick generators on one of the tanks in our raid. Flash of Light, Flash of Light still does some healing, uh, but also gives us two Holy Power really quickly from ranged. Um, I don't know if this is at all reasonable. I think it's probably not. But more beneficial likely is the slight bonus that we're going to get to our Holy Light. And I think we're creeping towards territory in which Holy Light is going to overtake some of the other builds for Holy Paladin because of the way that the base scaling of Holy Light is improved by uh, this increased to 30% from the patch 8 or 9.05 inflorescence. How might this work in a raid setting? Well, what I'm trying to showcase for you here is a style where you cast Infusion Holy Lights on non-tank members, splashing with Resplendent Light, which is also a scaling metric that might push Holy Light in the right direction as far as throughput is concerned. Resplendent Light, remember, is the conduit that's going to splash the base amount healed from Holy Light onto other members, so it'll hit five other people for a percentage. Right now, we don't have the eye level on the conduit for that percentage to be too high. I think it's like 6 to 8%, something like that. But you can imagine as the expansion goes forward that that percentage is going to grow. And if we get a buff to inflorescence, that means each holy light is hitting for 30% more baseline. Add to that the increase from resplendence. And you can see where we're going here. Uh, a lot of serious throughput from just casting one holy light. So the basic strategy is to use up these procs on non-tank members <clears throat> to produce lots of beacon healing. And then to do a very, very simple rotation. You can fit two holy lights in between each holy shock, sort of regardless of how much haste you have, because haste is going to reduce the um, cooldown of holy shock in addition to reducing the cast time of holy light so it almost always works out to about two holy lights in between each holy shock so you cast two holy lights in between if you didn't get the infusion proc you just cast those two holy lights on a tank and that'll build you your holy power holy power becomes much less significant in this build because our holy light is hitting for such serious numbers uh, but we're not going to be holy Holy Power Starved, because as I said, you're just going to be building it uh, by casting on the tanks whenever you don't get Infusion. It still seems to me pretty pretty solid, even if you cast all of your Holy Lights, even the ones from Infusion, on the Beacon target. Uh, with Beacon of Faith and a Raid, you're still splashing the healing, and the 30% bonus that we'll have, at least on the PTR right now, is going to be a substantial amount transferred, even in, with a Beacon of Faith setup. But this basic movement back and forth between Holy Shock to Holy Lights, Holy Shock to Holy Lights, and then in addition to that, 
filling out uh, the rotation by spending our holy power, likely uh, in a triage way, so topping people off who are low, instead of with Light of Dawn, though I think Light of Dawn's fine. One of the reasons why Word of Glory is likely going to be superior is because the scaling on shielding, shielding words, uh, one of our conduits, and the fact that this build doesn't really care where you are. You don't have to be running around in melee. You can be in melee if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Um, positionally, it's a lot more relaxed, and I can feel it as I'm doing this encounter. Uh, I'm not really worried about where people are, so I can point my Light of Dawn in the right direction. I'm just basically casting Holy Shock and then relaxing and casting two Holy Lights. So one advantage, I think, to this build, and obviously the scaling we'll have to see going forward, but one of the advantages I see is that it offers every single button you press a lot of throughput. Uh, I've noticed on you know shorter encounters, perhaps, somewhere between 50 and 80 of my button presses in a normal melee glimmer build are taken up by damage abilities. So specifically, Crusader Strike, Hammer of Wrath, and Judgment. And even when we take Judgment of the Light, which does fairly substantial healing, to devote 50 to 80 of our casts in an encounter over maybe a 6 or 7 minute fight to pure damage abilities only so that we can build Holy Power to then spend that Holy Power on Light of Dawn and Word of Glory um, is, is kind of weak on the throughput side. Now, I, I don't think Holy Paladins are weak. I think there's lots of other pieces that are there including Devotion Aura, including a Shock Barrier if we're playing the Melee Glimmer build, including Glimmer itself, so we're getting lots and lots of Holy Shocks as well. But I just found that casting Holy Light with Resplendent does a lot of healing. Uh, it does a ton of healing. We can still get fairly reasonable uptime on our wings by you know going with Awakening, going with Divine Purpose, and the one consideration that we have to be watching out for is actually the mana situation. And that's where the buff to Flash of Light actually makes it kind of interesting because as you move deeper into a fight, you can choose to convert some of your casts that would normally be Infusion Holy Lights into Flash of Lights on the tanks to save mana while you're still building uh, Holy Power. But in general, I just found it to be far more relaxing. It's a very simple approach. Holy Shock to Holy Lights. And you can see as I'm looking at the uh, the logs here and the details meter, obviously this is just an LFR which has almost no damage going out. But you can see the breakdown anyways, give or take, of how much healing is going out. Uh, Holy Light just punching out every time you cast it. Tons and tons of healing. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys this as we get ready for the new patch. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you guys again next time.